Welcome to day five. Uh, today we will have a little emphasis on the shoulders, uh, but touch on the full body. Um, so I wanted to just check in with the wrist before we come and do weight bearing. So sit comfortably, could even be on a chair, and um, just take a moment to reach your palms forward, spread out your fingertips. Uh, so this would be like plank pose, but up in the air, uh, waking up the extensors, the back of the wrist and then tuck your thumbs in, curl your fingers around, and draw your knuckles towards the floor, stretching out the extensors now. And then we'll spread out the fingers again, and really spread the thumb from the pointer finger, pull the back of the hand towards your face, and then one more time, tuck your thumbs in, curl your fingers around, and then this time we're going to um, straighten the wrist and turn the thumbs up to the ceiling and then pull your pinkies down towards the floor, maybe a little lower too. So finding a stretch on the uh, inner wrist. And then let that go, spread the fingertips out, wake up the back of the hand again, and then we'll take the arms out wide to the side and like you had water on your fingers, you'll wrap your thumb around your fingernails and then flick and just do that a couple times uh, just to get some warmth and energy in the, the wrists and the upper body too, the shoulders really. And keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. And then we'll release that and we'll come into a hands and knees position. So pat up your knees and uh, take your hands forward with your hips back, spread your fingertips out root down through the pads of your fingertips and then rock weight forward into your hands. And uh, if hands and knees not great for your knees, do this on a chair, or a sturdy piece of furniture. And then arch your back to the ceiling, opening up the back body. Take a full round of breath in and out. And then come into the back bend, melt your shoulder blades together, tailbone lifts, belly drops towards the floor. And again, take another full breath in and out. Good. And then we'll take a little more of a wiggle. So arch your spine, lift your back to the ceiling, and then try to swag your tailbone to the right as you take your right shoulder towards your right hip. So it's a side bend while in this rounded, flexed spine. And then go to the left. So wag your tailbone to the left. Try to take left shoulder towards left hip. Left hip left uh, towards left shoulder. And then, oh, I came out of my rounded spine, so re-tuck the tailbone under at the same time. And then go back and forth one more time, side bend right, <laughs> and side bend left. Just doing your best to keep the flexion. And then come to neutral, come to your big back bend, lift your tailbone, take the breastbone forward, and we'll do that same thing, side bend to the right, trying to stay in the back bend, staying out of any pinching sensation and then side bend to the second side to the left. Again, doing your best to stay in the back bend. My upper body really came out of that. So just noticing, smile, and then uh, come back into it. We'll go one more time to the right, and then one more time to the left. Good, and then let's just shake out the rest. So you can come up onto your knees, shake it out. You can even take the arms up overhead, give them some big, movements <laughs> and then um, we're going to come to downward dog and then take some um, do some belly down work so probably move the blanket or open it up bigger so that it's comfortable to lie down on and uh, you're spreading out rooting down through the pads of your fingertips and then reaching up and away and just take a little wiggle you could bend one knee and then the other kind of wagging your tail side to side so that same kind of spinal movement but now in a downward dog and just checking in on kind of the different um, stretches along the, uh, the legs now that we've added the calves and the hamstrings here. And then coming forward into a plank position, maybe pausing here if, you, if that's okay. Pads of your fingertips heavy, heels reaching back, breastbone reaching forward, and then really lifting into your back body. Feel your shoulder blades wide across your back body. Lots of stability at your front anterior abdominal wall. Breathe. <laughs> Good. 
Okay. And then we'll come all the way down. So you can use your knees as you'd like slow motion come down and we'll come into a sphinx pose. So you'll slide uh, your elbows under your shoulders. You're on your forearms roughly parallel to each other. Resist your pubic bone down and kind of scoop your belly away from the floor. So we've broadened across the lower back and then reaching the breastbone forward. And then just see about slouching. So keep your lower back supported in the front abdominal wall, but let your shoulders shrug towards your earlobes and then pull your shoulder blades down your back and then just go up and down. And then let's make it a little more circular. So shrug them up, squeeze them together and pull them down your back and wide apart, up, together and down. Let's do one more in this rotation and you're just doing your best. It's a little different than um, when you're, we're standing and then go in the opposite direction. So you're squeezing your shoulder blades together, then letting them glide up your back, wide apart and down. And just maybe one more of those for good measure. And then uh, take your time to come down and rest. And we'll be here for a bit. So you could pat up your forehead if this, this feels a little too squished for you. Otherwise, tuck your chin in towards your throat so that you can rest your forehead on the floor. Take your hands back by your hips. Resist your pubic bone down into the floor and strengthen your front abdominal wall. So I literally try to shorten the space between pubic bone and the front ribs. And from here, um, let's uh, do a little bit of strengthening of the shoulders. So you'll draw your shoulder blades a little together, lift the upper arm bones, lift your palms up to the ceilings and then go for really strong straight arms and then just go for a couple rounds of rotation, internal and external rotation at the shoulder joint. Keeping your forehead on the floor, your front abdominal wall supporting you. And even the tops of your feet have some pressure pushing down into the floor. Good, okay, melt the arm. Abs, lift the arms up. And this time, can you bend your elbows and hold your hands behind your pelvis without touching your body? Stand your elbows straight. Good. Do that three more times. Bending. Bending. Keep, keep trying to reach up to the ceiling a little bit higher. Keep strengthening your front core muscles. One more time. Straighten. Lift your palms. And then float. Hands. So your hands behind, maybe not interlace behind your head with the elbows wide. This is a little harder, so prioritize a happy lower back, okay? Resist your pubic bone down into the floor, strong abdominal wall, and then try to hover just your elbows up, pulling your elbows as close to the ceiling as possible. Shoulder blades are still down your back. And then can you keep your front core on, hover your hands off your head. Ha check in with your lower back, re-lengthen your tailbone towards the bottom of the mat, resist your pubic bone down, and then extend your elbows straight so you're in that high V, and then bend in. Can you slip your hands behind your head? Good, three more times, extend. Hands lift a little higher and bend, elbows higher, extend. Front core is on. <laughs> and bend, oh dear, how many more did I say? We have one more, I think. Bending in, hover your hands above your head, extend, and rest your arms down. Good. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do one round coming up and down. Okay, so we'll take our hands by our head, Face up to the ceiling, resist pubic bone down, lift your hands as high as you can, bend at the elbows, hover your hands behind your sacrum, extend the elbow straight, externally rotate, so turn your palms down to the floor and then up overhead, reach up to that high V, keep the core on, core on, core on, bend your elbows and hover your hands behind your head, melt your hands to your head and your elbows to the floor, and take a breath. Good, draw your shoulder blades down your back, core is on, lift your elbows up, extend your arms straight, 
internally rotate, turning the palms up to the ceiling, reach back behind you, lifting the arms higher and higher. Bend your elbows, hover your hands behind your back. Extend and melt the arms down. Okay, take your hands close to your body, kind of like chaturanga, lowering down. Hands are close to your rib cage, say. Um, and your elbows are pointing back up to the ceiling. And this is just the last thing we'll do in this position, resisting the pubic bone down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then can you hover your hands up off the floor in this position? Good. Two more breaths. Counter pose to computer driving, all kinds of stuff in our lives. And then release and melt it down. Okay, take your time to push up and back to downward facing dog. Hoy. <laughs> Get her face off the floor here. Okay. So strong shoulders now, reaching down into your hands, pads of the fingertips heavy to be able to reach and lift up and back through your hips. Good, Uttanasana, your forward fold. So walking hands and feet together. Take a breath here in your forward fold. Do a little wiggle, maybe rock your head side to side. Nod your head, yes and no. And then see that your feet are parallel and take your time to come and stand. You can roll up or come up with a flat spine. As you come to stand, sweep your arms up and overhead and take a breath. Hands in front of your heart so they come together and float down and you take another inhale and exhale your hands by your sides. Good. Okay, we're standing. Um, we'll just do a couple standing poses um, and, you know, just this can be a nice way to kind of warm up the body, but know that these are not your deepest poses. Um, these are just kind of check in with the, with the lower body. Okay, so you're stepping your feet wide apart and we'll go to the left first. So you're kicking your right heel back and turn your left leg out, root down through the legs. Feel your pelvis is level with the floor. We're taking warrior two and then reach the arms open wide, soften your left knee, and come into the lunge. And then usually the shoulders have shifted forward, so just try to settle your shoulders on top of your pelvis. Move the right thigh bone back into its hamstring, reach down into your strong right leg, and then maybe you come a little lower into your lunge. And then, hello shoulders, right? We're, we're, they're very clear, <laughs> at least that's how I feel in my body. And then from here, can you extend and reach and make the arms longer? Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we'll relax the arms down, straighten your left leg and turn your left foot in and your right foot out. Hips face slightly to the right now. Foot, pelvis is level with the floor, arms reaching wide, soften your right knee and come into your warrior two pose as you're ready. And then just, you know, making those adjustments, make sure your pelvis is facing a little bit towards the right, left thigh bones moving back into its hamstring, arms extending and reaching out wide. And then uh, notice the quality of your breathing. Good, okay, relax your arms down and we'll go back to the first side, one more, uh, asymmetrical pose here. So we'll turn the right foot in, left foot out, and come into our side angle pose. Uh, so ground down through the legs, reach through the legs, and we'll just make it a, a nice fluid movement. We're sweeping the arms open wide, tipping from the pelvis, and re-bend your knee. You could just come onto your elbow. You could come down to the floor or block if you uh, prefer. Um, but just keeping in mind that we haven't done a lot of the, the hip openers, uh, and warm-ups that we, we typically do. We're using the standing poses as a nice warm-up, check in with the lower body here. And then the breastbone's turning open. Good, breathe. Keep that reach back into your back foot. And then turning the palm to reach and come up and out. Good, okay, left leg in, right leg out. Ground down into your legs. Check in with your breathing. 
and then we'll float the arms wide, tip from the pelvis, bend your knee on the way down using your elbow or block, and the left arm can sweep up and overhead. And uh, tailbone keeps broadening to the left, extending and reaching out through the left arm, and then lowering into the lunge as you're able. And then maybe you're, if this is a little high for you, so just check that you're not slouched into the right shoulder, have stability at the right shoulder. And notice where you feel your breathing here. Breastbone turning open. Good, okay. And then up and out we come. Turn the feet parallel to each other and then step the feet together and just take a breath here in Tadasana. Good, let's come one more time to downward facing dog. So just as you're ready, option to inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Plant your hands and step back to downward facing dog. Okay, and then come and rest. And, um, you know, as always, choose what it feels restful for you. We'll take just a couple rounds of breath now to pause at the end of our practice together. Just taking another full round of breath. And then hands together in front of your heart. Namaste. Good work. Thank you.